Top 30 Fragrances for the Fall, Volume 2. Let's talk about it. Hey friends, John here from Proverbs 27, 9 Fragrances. Today we're going to be looking at fragrances 20 through 11 on our list of top 30 from the fall. Go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you're wearing, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, that way you're notified every time we upload this sweet smelling fragrance related content. Alright, let's just get right in, into it. I've got several fougeres in this middle portion um, of the... Uh, list but got a good variety um, we've got some some niche uh, some high designers some mid uh, and low-end designers some cheapies uh, and I think one clone that we're gonna be looking at so good variety right here let's start with this on one of my new favorite fragrances that I have from the house of Caron and um, this is Pornon de Caron Le Soir, which means uh, the evening. So um, you got the original, which is kind of their old school classic, everyday, all time of year scent. You've got Le Matin, which is the morning, and Le Soir, which is the evening. Um, this is a great um, iris fragrance, iris and woods, a little powder. It's uh, in the vein of the Givenchy line, in the vein of Dior Ohm. Um, really reminds me of Valentino Uomo Intense. Uh, this is maybe, maybe the best out of all those. Now, I'm not gonna say it's better than like Dior Ohm Intense, but maybe better than the regular Dior Ohm, and I'm talking about the pre-2020 version. Uh, I do think it's a little better than Valentino Uomo Intense. I really like it. That's a great one if you like Irish fragrances. All right, the next one, uh, so I guess this is 19. Again, these are not ranked. I'm just keeping track with the number, give you 30 fragrances. Uh, this is obviously from Prada Luna Rosa uh, Ocean. And this is kind of a, a new fougere. You've got you know some lavender in there. There's really no ocean qualities to it. To me, it is just kind of a, um, a blue fragrance. Uh, that, that has a little bit of a, that neo fougere quality to it. Um, smells a, a lot like a lot of the designer fragrances uh, that have come out in the past 10 years, uh, like maybe some of the Lamal flankers and things of that nature. But I really like the way this one smells. It has a little bit of some herbal and some green touches to it. Um, I really like Luna Rosa Ocean. All right. Um, from a car brand, uh, this is one that's well known for the fall and the winter time, um, and one that I'm really liking a lot. It's just growing on me more and more. Uh, Mercedes Benz Club Black. Um, sweet leather, touch of spice, um, nice creamy woods. Um, it's a little sweet for some people. My, my oldest son, I know is not real keen on this and i'm not big on super sweet fragrances either but i do really like this one used to be really easy to find sometimes it's not as easy as others but anyways you can still get it for a decent price you know 40 50 dollar range all right let's go to a a niche house or an indie house i'm not sure how you would qualify mansara but cidrat boisse um Great alternative to Aventus. Again, it doesn't really smell like Aventus to me. It's got the, uh, a pineapple, but it's got a, a load of um, moss and herbs. And it kind of takes like that Ralph Lauren Safari or um, Chanel like Egoist or Poor Monsieur, Lalique Lion. It's got that nice citrusy, woody, aromatic herbal vibe that makes this a, a great one as well. All right, next up from the house of Royal Lime, number 16, Royal Spice, or Royale, Royale Spice. 
Is it Royale Lime? I've always called it Royal Lime, but for some reason, with two L's, it makes me want to say Royale. This is a great fragrance. If you don't know this fragrance or even this house, uh, these are. this is a, a Bermuda-based house. And it's one of those, it's all about the island. It's all about the, the summer vibes, lime or mandarin or musk, you know, royal musk or all this or that. Royal Spice is like um, a little, it's almost like a spiced, rum smell because it's got the alcohol the perfumer's alcohol in it but this this fragrance smells great there is no old school kind of uh, you know vibe to it it's just a, a a warm there's a little bit of a citrusy smell in it although the, i don't think there's any citruses listed in the notes but it's like uh, a little powdery a little musky and then a lot of spice. There's nutmeg, there's cinnamon, there's cloves. Um, so it's sort of like a less Christmassy version of Burberry London or even Spice Bomb or something like that. And you can get these in big, huge bottles. You can get, um, mine's just got the pewter. It's a pewter crown cap and it's a splash on, but you can actually get a screw on cap for it. Um, this is one of my favorite spicy fragrances that I have. It works great in the fall, in the winter. And you can even wear that one even in the more heat. Uh, so that's a kind of a year-round fragrance. All right. Number 15, Niche House Creed. You know what? This is Viking Cologne. Uh, this is one of my favorite Neo Fougeres. This has still got that little bit of that barbershop DNA to it with some nice green tinges and some nice just kind of modern touches to it. Um, I prefer this one to the original Viking. And I know that's controversial and a lot of people didn't like this one. I think it's fantastic. Um, orange and, you know, it's kind of like if you took a, a Fougere fragrance and replace the bergamot with like some mandarin orange and some juicy orange and then give it some pedigree and some green edges to it. Uh, Viking Cologne, it's, it's got some spicy qualities to it as well. Uh, fantastic fragrance, I love it. And it's on the list here. All right, number 14, again, these ain't ranked. I'm just keeping track with them. From Dolce & Gabbana and Tenso. Um, this takes that Dolce & Gabbana pour on DNA, adds some hay and some vetiver, amps up the vetiver. From what, from what I've heard, it kind of smells more like the original Dolce & Gabbana pour on. Um, kind of adds that tobacco back into it. And um, great smelling fragrance. I wish it had a little bit better longevity but I really like that. Kind of soapy, kind of like a, a Neo Fougere as well. Um, but just smells great. Great designer fragrance. All right, an old school fragrance with that, that is another Fougere. I told you I had several Fougeres. Uh, this is the newest version though from the house of Guy La Roche. This is Dracar Intense. Um, an intense version of the original Dracar, um, ambers, touch of sweetness, touch of powder, a little bit of a, again, a little bit of a fougere vibe, not as much as Dracar Noir. Um, the soapiness is different here, uh, but this is a very good fragrance and you can get this dirt cheap. This is the 1.7 and it's like 20, 22 bucks. So that's a great one. Um, and I really like that one. It's gonna be really good in the fall and winter. All right, we're gonna go with a clone house here. This is from the house of Ministry of Oud, and this is Oud Royale, which is um, Royal Oud. This is a clone of Creed's Royal Oud. Love the presentation. I love a good square, heavy um, fragrance bottle. Really like it, looks good on a shelf. 
feels good in the hand. Nice placard here, signed um, cap. Just everything about this is really good. Atomizer is really good. And if you know, um, if so Ministry of Oud, it's a Paris Corner fragrance is the parent company, kind of like a Maison Alhambra is with a Latafa. Ministry of Oud is to Paris Corner. Uh, but again, Royal Oud Creed's fragrance is not a heavy Oud fragrance. In fact, most people say they can't smell any Oud. In this one, I, I think I can smell that Oud DNA. It's kind of like Oud Noir, but it's a lot different. It's not as fruity. It's a little more spicy. It's a little more woody. Um, and this is one I got on Triple Traders for not very much money, and it smells great. High quality. Um, even if you've never smelled um, Royal Oud, um, I would say that you'd probably like this if you like a spicy, woody fragrance. The last one I'm going to go with is another wood bomb, and this is a cheap one. Ultra cheapy from a car brand from the house of Jaguar. This is Jaguar for men, Privé. Um, the atomizers on these are trash. The lids are horrible. I don't like the bottle, but the juice smells great. What this reminds me the most of, it smells like a almost a perfect blend of Oud Noir from Versace and Bottega Veneta Pour On Parfum. It's got this brightness, this um, kind of this, there's a little bit of a citrus. It's not a citrus based fragrance, but there's this little bit of this bright citrusy nuance on top of a lot of um, green pine and heavy dense woods. Just, it's dry, just a maybe a hint of sweetness from that bergamot or whatever it is. Uh, but if you like, if you love woody fragrances, you can get this for like, I think I paid $15 for this fragrance. This is a steal. Great for the fall. All right, that's my list, at least the middle portion. We're gonna come out with one more video. I'll give you the final 10. It's not, again, not a top 10, just the final 10 on my 30 fragrances for fall. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Till we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, frag on.